Hi, I'm Gwen. I have 10 plus years of experience in tech, five plus years experience in cloud engineering. I uh, do cloud things at Microsoft uh, here on YouTube, and uh, I'm the founder of Learn to Cloud, the most popular open source and free guide to the fundamentals of cloud engineering. And this is exactly how I would prepare for an interview for an entry-level cloud engineering role in 2024. Before we dive into actually going through the process, I want to be real with you all. Because a lot of creators are going to tell you, just take this course and you can land a role or just, you know, join my, what's that platform where when you school thing and you'll learn all the secrets. I want to set you up with realistic expectations and I truly do believe that if you try to go from no tech experience straight into cloud you're going to have a very very hard time in this current market there are people who have been laid off with years of experience that you are competing against uh, there are people with um, you know other experience experiences are wanting to move into the role that you are also competing with and I don't think there's a course, I don't think there is a degree, I don't think there is a boot camp out there that can replace an employer's preference for experience. So what I recommend is, oh wait, not this one. I do a lot of these diagrams to kind of teach my, my concepts. Um, that's this one, this one here. Uh, this is a $10 diagram. I spent hours making this, so I feel like $10 is super cheap. And it's a way for you to support the channel because I don't like using uh, sponsors. So anyway, here. So this is a this is a how to get a, a cloud job, and I kind of walk you through what that timeline looks like and what to do at each step. But I have uh, this self-taught framework to get into cloud. I highly recommend you get an entry-level tech job, not cloud job, tech job. So uh, support, help desk, support, help analyst. And many, many companies have these roles. Uh, schools, clinics, hospitals. My first tech job was help desk at a nonprofit health clinic. I hated it, but I did a year and a half and had everything that I needed. Along the way, Take an associate level cloud certification, build a project that implements the skills from that one, then take a complementary cert, Linux, networking, security, DevOps, whatever, and then a project that builds on those skills that you got from the complementary cert. What I would probably do is on that project that you built here, just add on functionality that implements the skills that you gain. That's more realistic with like uh, when you go and join a new company, you're going to be building into existing systems versus creating anything from scratch. Usually later on, as you grow in your career, you're going to be, you know, more and more responsible for new things, right? So then what I would do, let's say I have my year of experience. I have two projects or one project and these two certs feeling really confident. I would go to wherever you look for jobs, right? Um, let's do LinkedIn. We'll search for cloud engineer and I'm going to set this to be, where is it? Experience level, entry level. We'll just do entry level for now. There's a bunch, I guess, according to this here. All right. Now let's look at these cloud platform engineer. This was in Vancouver. I don't want to go to Vancouver. It says on site too. All right, this one I would do Jersey City. I live in Queens, so um, this one would be doable for me. What this is? This is based in. Oh, I picked the wrong one. Do do nurses. All right, can't do that one either. Let's see. I don't know why they're listing like New Jersey, if it's based in 
I guess they recruit every. I don't want to do that. Let's see. Remote New York on site. Is this one also in? Oh, what? Am, I'm sorry, people who have to apply with these things. It's so bad. Remote. Let's do hybrid and remote. How about that? Let's just set it to that. MasterCard is allowing hybrid. Sound engineer 2. Let's see. Does it say that you have to move? Okay, you know what? Just to make this easier, let's just make it remote. Obviously, you're limiting yourself for remote. Um, you know, we had like, what, 700? But now we have like 100 plus. If I had, if I was at the beginning of my career, I would probably go anywhere, to be honest. Like, I moved here for my job with Microsoft, and I had them pay relocation and all that. But I feel like now because of where I'm in my career, I kind of am very situated, like friends in a community and stuff like that. But early, like my first job, I would have moved anywhere. Like I was just like hungry to start building a career for myself. Um, but I would definitely do like hybrid in New York for sure. So let's, let's do, sorry. I'm, I feel like I'm dragging this out, but we'll do a hybrid and remote, but we'll just set this to be New York. New York City, and let's see what kind of options we get. We only have four. Wow, cloud support associate engineer. Now that sounds like a solid entry level job. Cloud support engineer. Yeah, a lot of these are support roles. Okay, so I'm gonna look at um, canon canonical. Sick. If you don't know what canonical is, I feel like you shouldn't be even watching this video. You have some studying to do. Okay. So anyway, let's see what uh, they are asking us here. Experience with Linux troubleshooting, collecting logs, and stack traces, fine tuning. Experience with Linux server admin, strong knowledge of cloud computing concepts, provisioning, monitoring. Knowledge or basic hands-on e experience on two or more of virtualization, cloud. Okay, this seems like a, this seems like a solid, solid, solid first cloud job i would have loved this all right so i'm gonna grab everything here i'm gonna copy this and too bad they don't tell you the the price like not the price the, the salary i just want to look at this one too what you do manage who you are pretty good too pretty good all right but we're gonna stick to this one so what you're going to do is you're going to go over to Claude and ChatGPT. I use this stuff every single day. I am making myself more productive and efficient with these tools. There's grammar checks, um, helping me start like drafts for like emails. Um, when I read, I like to ask clarifying questions of the text that I read. There's just so many things that I use this for. So what I'm going to ask is how, no, what, what are some Questions I could expect to be asked during during an interview uh, interview view for this role, All right? And then I'm going to paste in the contents of the role, and also I'm going to copy this over here, and then I'm going to chat GPT as well. Paste this here and ah, oh, it didn't copy over. Let's go here, back here, and then we're just gonna select this once more. Go down, go down, go down, go down. All right, and then copy here. I'm going to ChatGPT. We'll paste it here, and then what I'm gonna do is open the side. This is one of my favorite. Favorite, favorite features of Edge. You can have things side by side in tabs. All right, so we're going to have that open here. Oh, another thing that I recommend. So if we go back here and at the very start of like of your journey of like getting certification, like you, you get your land your support role, right? And then you have time to like get your associate level cert and build a project. I would try to tune those to the job you want to land. So maybe 
go to go to you know whatever it is that you find jobs and look for roles look do what i'm doing now and kind of see for example this one wants you to have a lot of linux uh, linux experience and it's asking for cloud as well right so it would make sense for you to get that associate level cloud cert right maybe you can get like a a 104 um maybe even like a 204 for azure in aws you could get the um, the sysops one i feel like that would probably be most helpful in this role and then for your complementary cert you could do a linux one or a devops one so what I'm trying to get you to do is making sure you're aligning and being very intentional with what you learn so it helps you get the job that you want and not just kind of just studying everything and being all over the place, being very intentional with that. Based on the job description, I'm going to look at Claude first. Um, can you describe your experience with learning troubleshooting and serve admin? What is your familiarity with cloud community concepts? All right, so let's let's go one. Actually, you know what? I was gonna do a split, but let's just do one by one here. Oh, chat GPT open. Okay, anyway, how do you collect logs and analyze stack traces in a Linux environment? This is awesome because this could be like your first project if you deploy it on like a VM, and then you get some experience with. Um, like bash and then uh, commands that you use in the terminal. And if you study for like a, like in, I feel like a, a Linux essentials, you'll learn like commands that you will leverage uh, for this task. So now let's start to take these questions as things that you would go and figure out how to do. All right. So do you know how to do this? Yes or no? If you do know how to answer this, well, take an additional step and like, how have you gotten hands on with this in your project, right? Can you walk us through the steps to troubleshoot a Linux server crash? Again, right? Same concept. What are some key configuration files you have modified in Linux to fine tune performance? That's interesting. Um, that's an interesting question. Cloud computing, explain the process of provisioning, managing cloud resources. You have endless options here, right? SDK, the CLI, infrastructure uh, as code, so Terraform, Bicep. There are even tools now like AZD, which like couple a bunch of tools in them. Uh, you can click in the portal, but obviously that's probably not the most efficient one. Longer term, but for things in the moment, it might be. How do you approach monitoring, troubleshooting, cloud infrastructure? Uh, what are we talking like monitoring of the um, the application level? Are we talking monitoring? Um, well, here it does say infrastructure, right? But I guess another key would be when questions are asked, don't immediately give your answer. Take a minute to really embrace the question and ask any clarifying questions that you need. And then even if you know the answer, give yourself that space because that does establish a sense of confidence that radiates in your interview as well. Can you discuss your experience with any cloud orchestration tools? All right. And there's a bunch more here. Virtualization, networking, programming, storage, behavioral questions. How do you handle high pressure situation? Yeah, these are ones that you should, I've told you always that as you're working your support role, write down any experiences that you feel would be important to later talk about or showcase during an interview, like start a Word doc or like write them in a journal or something. So later you can reference these like, don't ever allow yourself to get hung up or points deducted for behavioral or cultural fit and motivation questions. You have to obviously be a decent person to work with and work with your communication skills, which is why I highly recommend, um, hold on. So we're going to go to learn to cloud. Okay. So that's why I highly recommend if you go to my study plan that, um, there's a part here that says documentation factor in three days for each phase for documentation purposes. 
I am a big fan of video because you can just straight up talk and then play it back and, you know, realize what you need to work on. But you can also write. Writing is very important. The goal is to just, as you're working through your projects, build your ability to communicate your projects, your skills. Because communication is a key factor in being a solid team member and growing your career as well, right? All right, so that was ChatGPT. I want to look at, yeah. So anyway, you get you get the the idea. Like you go through the, the job description. You kind of generate as many questions as you want. And then you work through these. And you know, like, which ones do you know? Which ones do you not know? Which ones do you need more experience with? And then you go and you try to land interviews, right? You you Maybe the projects that you've built are not... Um, even half of the things that you're getting asked, then you need to kind of spend some time adapting those projects. That's completely fine. That's a learning experience in and of itself, right? Anyway, um, you can also ask like, what kinds of hands-on exercises might they ask me to do, right? And then we'll run this. I like Claude. I think I'm, I'm more of a fan of Claude these days. Sonnet is awesome. Uh, based on the job, okay, here. And then it generates um, almost like a project idea as well, which I think is great. But as you see, the options now are endless to prepare. I wish I had this when I was preparing um, to get into Cloud, but hey, this is how I would, I would get myself interview ready. I'll do another video on actually being in the interview and things that you can do to kind of come off like confident that you know what you're talking about. All right, that's it for this video.